Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did CNN just praise Trump? What? What is in here? What did I drink? He's not trying to not be Donald Trump. Like some politicians go and they try to dress up as somebody they're not. He's still got the red tie. <laughs> he's still got, he's still so clearly himself. And I think this was an unbelievably smart move. <laughs> okay, all hell just froze over. How are you good people doing? Yeah, I know, I know. I'm doing good. I hope you guys are all doing well after that intro right there because, yeah, we got to get into this. You're watching my channel, Model Renaissance Man, and I am Ty Smith. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view my content. Make sure that you are following me on all the content platforms you see above and below. Hitting this thumbs up button is how my content can consistently be recommended to you, and it helps my channel greatly, okay? So make sure you do that. Last but not least, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel because there's a good chance you've been unsubscribed to my channel via the YouTube gossipy because they hate this information that I'm putting out to be getting put out. So make sure y'all do your due diligence and do that, folks. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, notifications. It's free. It's free. Yeah, we got to get into this, folks, because you guys all know this story is still trending out there with Trump trolling and going to work at McDonald's to kind of say, you know, I've done something Kamala Harris didn't do. He said, I worked 15 minutes at McDonald's, and that's more than Kamala Harris has ever worked at McDonald's, completely trolling her. But you guys all know that story. I've done a few stories and a few videos I've already done yesterday, today. Yada yada peanut butter, right? The difference is, this is weird. Like, you know, I, I this is weird. It's almost like when your enemy is praising you, it's kind of like, don't do that. You don't like, I don't even want you to do that. Like, I don't want you to like me. I don't want that. Yeah, left, far left wing, communist network news, communist news network, CNN, CBS, communist Bull crap, you know, bull, you know, network praising Trump. Yeah, like I said in the beginning, all hell must have frozen over. Like, I, y'all, we need to go check our blood pressure. Like, I, I was even like looking at my drink right here, like, what is in here? Like, am I reading this wrong? Like, uh, something wrong. My eyes, like, I know my ears are real small, but they hear really good, but just seem off. Yeah, y'all wanna see the whole entire thing? Y'all wanna see it? Check it out. Former President Donald Trump put on an apron today to pull off a political stunt in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. So do you want to give it a try? I do. Working the fryer to try and claim without any evidence that Vice President Kamala Harris didn't work at a McDonald's while in college, as she said she did. She never worked at McDonald's. At a rally in Latrobe, well, Pennsylvania, let's, let's near Pittsburgh Saturday, She's Trump issued some of his harshest of us, insults of Harris yet. You're a sh vice president. The worst. You're the worst vice president. And the fact that these people are accusing him of a stage managed thing, of course, the president has to have security because there have been two attempts on his life in the last eight weeks. He can't just walk into a McDonald's and, and you know, sign a W-9 and actually go on the payroll. That's just not how this works, especially uh, given the security threats on his life. But look, he was interacting with people. He was talking to the employees. He was giving people food uh, and he was just being, I think, what, what he does best, which is just being among the people talking to them about what they care about he showed i think genuine interest in the employees and their lives and where they came from and what they were actually doing in their job and that's something you can't stage and you can't fake that is just the genuine person that donald trump is and it's why i think a lot of working people even though of course he's a successful real estate billionaire have this emotional connection to donald trump you can't make up that kind of connection unfortunately kamala harris has tried and failed and i think it's why her campaign is flailing a little bit right now is because you know, she goes into sheets and does four takes of her buying Doritos. Donald Trump just goes into McDonald's and he is who he is and people love him. I thought it was just a brilliant strategic move and it, he had fun doing it and clearly the people loved it, Natasha. Josh, do you agree? A brilliant uh, strategic move because meanwhile we do see Trump saying Harris never worked there, the Harris campaign having to defend that. What do you make of this back and forth? 
I agree. I do. And, and if Democrats can't be honest, even when we may detest our opponent, then it's going to be counterproductive for us as a party. It was genius. He took what is such an infinitesimal attack that she never worked at McDonald's. It wouldn't even make the radar in a senior class president campaign, let alone a presidential campaign. And he turns it into another news cycle that he dominates. And quite frankly, it shows his ability to do retail. And I think it should spur the Harris campaign in these last 16 days to do alternative media, to take back, uh, you know, really the narrative and, and to do shows like Joe Rogan, to do a chicken shop date and utilizing that alternative media, because if Trump continues to dominate the media dialogue for the next 16 days, uh, it's not going to be good for us on election day. Back to when the world knew Trump simply as a real estate mogul and a New York City tabloid fixture. A big and tasty for just a dollar? How do you do it? What's your secret? Together, Grimace, we could own this town. Oh, now Trump is stepping behind the counter at McDonald's, this time for a campaign stop in the battleground state of Pennsylvania. I'm looking for a job, and I've always wanted to work at McDonald's, but I never did. I'm running against somebody that said she did, but it turned out to be a totally phony story. So if you don't mind, I want to work the French fry counter. So Trump there once again claiming without evidence that Kamala Harris never worked at, the McDon at McDonald's in the 80s. That dispute inspiring this campaign stop over the weekend. Trump, of course, no stranger to the Golden Arches, his love for fast food. Well documented in 2019, Trump hosted Clemson's football team after they won the national championship and served up this spread of French fries and burgers at the White House. And during his Sunday visit to McDonald's, Trump again put on the apron. He manned the fry station. He handed out food through the drive through window to customers who, according to the Washington Post, were pre-screened by the Secret Service. The restaurant was closed to the public for the event. I love salt. Wait a minute, I spilled some. Just, I'm very superstitious. Our panel has returned. Uh, so I have to say, when I first saw that image of Trump kind of hanging out the drive through window, I, a part of me thought, wow, is that real? I never thought he would do something like that. The, the, the Trump that we saw in 1999 in that old ad is the one that was much more familiar to me. Like, look, we're going to run this town, right? Like someone who owns a McDonald's, not someone who works in one. I mean, the, clearly they have a strategy to try to appeal to working class voters, try to, you know, twist the knife on Harris. Uh, but I, I, st I still found these images to be jarring. Well, part of what you what is so striking about them is that he's not trying to not be Donald Trump. Like some politicians go and they try to dress up as somebody they're not. He's still got the red tie. <laughs> he's still got he's still so clearly himself. And I think this was an unbelievably smart move because one thing that has differentiated Donald Trump from other really wealthy politicians is that he has never been seen as the aloof the billionaire who would never deign to hang out with the commoners. Like, he has always sort of portrayed himself as, I'm the rich guy who doesn't really like the other rich guys. I'm one of you. And this is part of this. I think this was insanely smart. Well, to that point, it is part of a larger effort on the Trump campaign to sort of soften Donald Trump's image. It's why, why you've seen his grandkids sort of being appearing at the rally and also spoke at the RNC. There's a, 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 a a larger effort going on by the Trump campaign to appeal to some of those suburban women that he's currently losing. The most humanizing moment in that clip was when he threw the salt over his shoulder. It was like such a normal yes. reaction that anyone who's like, oh, like we all do that when you're cooking or whatever. And so that was the most like normalizing and humanizing moment, I think, in this clip. But I, uh, to your point, like he still has his shirt on, his tie on. Like most politicians would have showed up in like a collared shirt or something that said McDonald's and tried to like more fit in. I did find it striking that the whole restaurant was shut down and it was just sort of like a staged event, but I do think it is definitely like poking at the, the vice president. I will here. also say though, him showing up with Grimace in that old ad, I bet that gets some more traction because Grimace is like a thing yeah. with Gen, Gen Z. Like, is he? Yes, yeah. it's All a thing. All the TikTokers, yeah. It's a thing. Oh, see, you guys are cooler than me. I, <laughs> I have absolutely I've just read no idea. <laughs> Yeah, mm, what's going on here? What's what's going on here? How all of a sudden they seem to be, oh, what Trump, oh, oh the whole McDonald's commercial, oh, oh, I think it was a smart, oh, oh. Well, you know, when Trump went there, he probably put some, I'm, some, I'm just surprised. So again, will this be enough? I do not know, ladies and gentlemen. It just seems like the momentum right now is definitely swinging in Trump's favor. From him being smart, smart enough to articulate 
and answer questions regarding our border, regarding the economy, regarding inflation, going on talk shows, going on podcasts, doing interviews when Kamala Harris is doing the typical thing that Democrats do to pimp black people. Notice that what Trump doing is for all Americans. When it comes to a lot of things in regards to what the Dems do, they are doing a lot of things to go after a certain demographic. We're going to do this to try to pimp black people. And although we think that white men and men in general are the curse of this world, but especially white men, now we're trying to figure out why we doing so bad amongst men. Oh my God, how are we doing so bad amongst black men? We don't even know what a man is, remember? So for him to pull a stunt like this, and for Kamala Harris to do the things that she's doing, everything it seems like she's doing is kind of backfiring on her right now when it seems like everything Trump is doing right now is giving him a little bit of one-up. Now, I haven't heard, heard the video yet of y'all talking about Trump talking about somebody's genitalia. I haven't looked into it yet. I might cover that. I do not know yet, but I have heard some things. But you know me. If you tell me something, I'm going to go and check and research and look it up myself. I'm not just going, oh, my God. So we'll find that out. Ladies and gentlemen, what did y'all think of that right there, though? I mean, do y'all think that was a little weird? Like, eh? Are y'all doing what this cloud is telling y'all to do right here? Make sure you do, all right? Okay? The next video that I would do would be up here. The other videos that I do as a variety will be down here. I am Ty Smith, Model Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray that every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.